Hello, welcome to another episode of Die True. How do you stop feeling responsible for other people's feelings or how other people feel, other people's emotions? Before I go ahead, I've got three questions. Number one, are you quick to say yes without pausing to consider how you feel? Number two, do you keep quiet to avoid arguments or confrontations? Number three, are other people's happiness your priority? If your answer is yes, then this episode is for you. Now, there are some people who are just kind. You know, they have compassion for other people's feelings. Some people who care so much about others. These people are known as empaths. They end up taking on the feelings of others. These people find themselves absorbing the emotions around them. For instance, when other people are excited, maybe a friend is excited about a breakthrough in their life, you know, they get caught up in their happiness. They're so happy for them. And you can see it, you can feel it. And when others are suffering or going through a tough situation, they tend to absorb that energy as well. They feel responsible, so they try to fix it. Same way when someone hurts them or when someone does them wrong, when someone assumes or concludes about their personalities or whatever, they might also feel responsible and they start to blame themselves. It's okay to be an empath. I mean, it has its positive side. It can also be a curse. It can also be wahala. It can also be problems. I recall being invited to a small gathering of women and immediately I got a vibe. And that's another thing about empaths. They, they are super sensitive. They pick up on vibes. They pick up on auras. They pick up on emotions and feelings and situations. They absorb it so quick. So back to this gathering of these lovely women. A few hours later, one of them got talking to me and uh, she mentioned that as soon as I got in, some of the ladies were you know, whispering and talking about how I had this persona, like I gave this vibe that I was perfect and better than everyone else. And as soon as they saw me, I couldn't understand that. Now, normally, I would feel bad. In fact, I would absorb that energy and, and now I'll start to feel responsible for their emotions. I'll start to think that maybe I shouldn't walk this way or talk this way because it will make them feel more uncomfortable since it's obviously it's making them feel like I'm perfect and better than everyone else. I would try to shrink myself so I would fit into whatever situation they're creating for me. But I had to consciously stop doing that. I had to, it, it was a conscious effort I, I had to make, which was not easy, by the way. It's not easy to call yourself when you start to feel that way, when that is how you've always felt. It's not easy, but it's very possible. So how do you do that? How do you stop feeling responsible for other people's feelings? Because that's what happened at that gathering. As soon as I found out that was the situation, I had to consciously tell myself, well, I'm not responsible for how they feel. I'm not responsible for how they react to what's going on. How do you get to that level where you're not taking up the responsibility of other people's feelings? Number one, you recognize toxic situations and behaviors. You don't allow anyone attempt to control you. You don't allow anyone to make you feel guilty, especially when you know you've done nothing wrong. You don't allow anyone to make you shrink, to make you not be yourself, to make you feel bad about being you. So it's important to recognize that toxic situation. Number two, seeking self-worth from people is futile. I've got to understand that. So when you seek self-worth from others, you give them this undue power over you. 
And that's what you don't want to do. You do not want to give anyone that power to control how you're feeling. Stop seeking self-worth from anyone. Anyone. Number three, your emotional health is important. I can tell you myself that. I tell myself when I get into certain situations, I tell myself, okay, if this is not good for my mental space, <laughs> for my mental health, no. Or my emotional health, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not going to involve myself in this. I'm, I'm going to take myself out of that situation. Yes, granted, everyone might be going through their own issues, their own wahala, their own emotional challenges or challenge. And you might sometimes, you might want to play the um, superhero. You know, you're trying to fix it. Remember, you matter too. Your emotional health matters Put that in mind. Which brings me to number four. Stop trying to fix or help them, especially when they're not exactly asking you or seeking your help. Granted, you've got good intentions. You've got a kind heart. You've got a loving heart. But sometimes people are not exactly asking for your advice. They don't exactly want you to fix them. And even if you try, no matter what you do, you can't fix those who do not want to be fixed. And when you invest so much into trying to fix them and you find out they don't listen, they don't fall through, you start to get confused and you start to feel horrible about yourself. No, you don't need that baggage. Just let them do the work themselves. You can support them the way you can from a distance if you can, or just be there as a friend, depending on the person in question, but let them put in the work not you trying to fix it. And lastly, number five, protect yourself. Protect yourself from toxic people, from toxic situations. And how do you do that? You set firm and assertive boundaries. I said that last week when we talked about codependency in relationships. Now, this is on a general level, not just setting boundaries with your partner. This is setting boundaries generally. Protect yourself from toxic people because believe it or not, we have toxic people. So you need to protect yourself from them by being assertive, by being firm, by setting the boundaries. Don't forget, it's okay to be good. It's okay to leave a little sparkle everywhere you go. That's fine. Just try, if you can, not to absorb so much negative vibes. I wish you all the best. Thank you for listening. Meet you again at another episode of Die Truth. Finding your truth with Ifemina. Ifemina.